For my piece, I used only the material generated during the workshops, harmonically, melodically, the trials, the textures that we tried in the workshop, uh, also the different uh, computer treatments that I use. Um, I played around with uh, the programs a lot, but like the heart of uh, the program is the same. At the beginning, it wanted to be a piece that was uh, very uh, planned. And then finally, it changed a bit. Uh, it, was, it became more visceral, more intuitive. Uh, When I work with the uh, computer side, I'm extremely rigorous. I don't have many adjustments to make uh, uh, with the musicians. Uh, it, it's more the link that uh, the musician has with the electronics, so I make sure that he hears it uh, and understands what I want. The rehearsal work is much about that. Like, uh, do you hear this sound? Are you able to yourself where you're at now? Are you able to go and get that nuance with it? Uh, uh, do you hear that element? Because that's important to me. I make sure that the musician, uh, I, so the work has done a lot at that level. So for me, the uh, uh, musician is totally part of the piece. You know, I, I, you know, I write for quiz. I did, there's no idea here of like a, uh, that a piece be autonomous without uh, the musicians, without the group. So it's a piece that I make for them, thinking of them, imagining them, uh, each of the individuals learning to play. It's a piece that I wanted uh, minimalist, uh, very simple, uh, a piece that my mum could like. So uh, um, all the melodies are very important. Uh, I didn't want a piece that had a lot of haze in it. I wanted something that was uh, uh, really targeted, uh, that had a clear note that we could hear and focus on it. Uh, I wanted it that if, if it end, uh, like when the note would end, it was like, whoa, there's a, a drop there. So I wanted all of that to be super clear. I want there to be silence in the piece also. Um, I wanted all of it to be, that there'd be really complete stop silences. And I wanted some tiny wake up, some hiccups, you know, and that's what I worked on. And um, of course, I wanted there to be chaos also, or some, some kind of chaos, like disorganized, where it's really more violent. And the work was to go from one to the other. How do I move from that state uh, to stagnation, nothing's going on, you're waiting for something, you deconstruct uh, until sometimes something happens. What I find good in this is to have found people who are like me, a little crazy about investing time and work in, the, in a composition. Um, I think all composers are a bit of that, but I'm certainly someone who's totally invested, uh, you know, for sleepless nights and uh, uh, ceaselessly work uh, 20 hours in a couple of days, and uh, uh, I have that rhythm now for a while. And to find people who are passionate and who do it for the right reasons, who want to do it, who do it because uh, they're dedicated to the thing, uh, they do it um, out of passion, uh, so that really does one good, because in fact we're not that many to do it not that many to be interested in that really and so uh, I think it's very stimulating.